Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm amazingly anatomical and I'm so excited to make videos on the human body and science in general. Today, I'm going to explore the world of physiology of the brain and how trauma and stimulants like caffeine play a role into one's well-being, all from a high school perspective. Addiction is a chronic disorder with biological, psychological, social, and environmental factors influencing its development and maintenance. About half the risk for addiction is genetic. Certain genes affect the degree of reward that individuals experience when initially using a substance or engaging in activities like gambling. The desire to re-experience use of the substance or behavior, which can be influenced by trauma, social, and environmental factors, can lead to regular use and exposure, with chronic use and exposure leading to brain changes. These brain changes include alterations in cortical and subcortical regions involving the neural circuitry of reward, motivation, memory, impulse control, and judgment. As a result, this can lead to substantial increases in cravings for a drug or activity, as well as impairments in the ability to successfully regulate this impulse, despite the knowledge and experience of many consequences related to the addictive behavior. Even though caffeine isn't as bad as alcohol or other drugs, it can have similar side effects. Did you know that an intake of only 100 milligrams of caffeine can induce symptoms like dizziness, anxiety, agitation, irritability, restlessness, insomnia, heart arrhythmia, and headaches in some people? It also stimulates the central nervous system and at even higher doses of caffeine, it affects the cortex, medulla, and even the spinal cord sometimes. Let's talk about trauma. It has been shown that traumatic experiences, especially those in childhood, have been linked to substance use disorders. These disorders are highly intertwined with post-traumatic stress disorder and other mood-related psychopathology. In a present study of 587 people with trauma, high rates of lifetime dependence on various substances were found. 39% alcohol, 34% cocaine, 6.2% heroin and opioids, and 44.8% marijuana. There was a significant additive effect of the number of types of childhood trauma experienced with history of cocaine dependence in predicting PTSD symptoms. Gender also plays a significant role in behavioral and psychiatric outcomes of different types of childhood trauma. 59% of young people with PTSD subsequently develop substance abuse problems. This is more common in girls. Early traumatic experience may increase risk of substance use disorders because of attempts to self-medicate or to dampen mood symptoms associated with the dysregulated biological stress response. And that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Please make sure to check out my previous video and stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye!